Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we have a special build video for all of you out there. Over here on my right we have the Antec Landboy Air case. Uh, if you watched a few months ago we did an unboxing and an overview of this case and uh, one of the comments that we got uh, from quite a few people was what is the benefit of actually maxing out the, this case with a system in it with all of the fans that it's capable of holding? This thing can actually hold up to 15 120 millimeter fans. And um, folks were somewhat dubious about, dubious about that. They were wondering, is that effective to have that many fans? Is there a certain number of fans that would be um, better than actually maxing it out or is it better with less fans? Anyway, so what we've done today is we have gathered all the parts for a nice mid-range system build. I'm going to throw all this stuff into the Landboy Air, and we're going to run three tests. We're going to run with the stock fans that are included with the Landboy Air right out of the box. Uh, we're going to go halfway. We're probably going to do seven or eight fans, um, depending on the configuration that looks good once we actually get the system built. And then we're going to max it out with all the fans possible, filling this case up. Uh, just to remind you guys, all the fans on the Lambo Air are supposed to po point in. It uh, creates a positive pressure so that the air escapes wherever you see perforations, holes, and areas for the air to uh, come out of the Lambo Air. So, that being said, uh, here are all the parts for our build. We're going to start out with our motherboard. Uh, we're building an AMD system, so we have a... Um, this is a MSI 890FXA GD70 motherboard. It's a standard ATX board uh, for our video card. Um, it's a last generation card, but it's an EVGA GTX 260. This is the Core 216 version. Still a very good video card. Um, here is, of course, all of our fans. We have Antec Blue LED 120 millimeter fans, and this is a stack of, uh, that should be 15 right there in that pile. Our CPU is going to be an AMD uh, Phenom 2 X6 1055T. That's a six core uh, processor from AMD. Uh, we have a standard light on DVD burner. We're going to be using the Kingwin Laser Series 850 watt power supply and down here for storage we have a Seagate 2 terabyte Barracuda magnetic hard drive and then we have four gigs of Patriot memory. Oh and then uh, last but not least we also have an Antec cooler. Uh, this is a cooler box Antec aftermarket CPU heat sink fan so we'll be installing that as well. So there's our parts. I'm going to get to work and put everything together in this system. I'll be back with you in uh, 30 seconds. everyone I'm happy to say that the uh, build went pretty smoothly everything is installed and good to go uh, Windows is just now starting to load and um, one of the things we did notice uh, if uh, at the beginning we started off with a stack of 15 of these and um, that's because we thought 15 fans uh, we can use all of the fan slots available in the Landboy Air but of course the Landboy Air comes with five fans pre-installed so we actually have a few extras but for now, we're going to uh, lo get everything loaded up and uh, we're going to test it out with the five fans. We're going to install Windows overnight, come back to it tomorrow morning. And then after we do some testing for thermals with the five fans, we're going to load it up with as many fans as we can possibly fit in there. And uh, we'll get a little bit more details on that when we come back tomorrow. And we're back. All right, guys, we just jump cut over quite a bit of hardware work that we just completed. But I'm happy to say that we now have all 15 fan slots populated in our Landboy Air that we have here. Uh, we did so by using these Antec Blue LED 120 millimeter fans wherever possible. And wherever that was not possible, we needed something a little bit smaller. We used the side. These are the uh, Kazi Juni. Um, I apologize if my Japanese pronunciation is pretty terrible, but 
That is a slim 120 millimeter fan from Scythe. And we topped it off with a couple of these uh, Kazi Master Ace uh, fan controllers, also from Scythe, which we have mounted up to the front right here. So we've just finished doing our, our battery of benchmarks and um, getting our numbers for that um, for the system with all the fans installed. So we'll be looking at those benchmark numbers in just a second for our temperatures. But first, let's take a look inside the case and show you how we've got everything wired up in there. So as we mentioned earlier in the video, uh, the Landboy Air comes with stock installed with five 120 millimeter fans. If I can stop dropping my thumb screws here. And the five that were pre-installed were the two on the side here that you can see with the blue LEDs, the single on the back, and then the two up here on the front. So what we've added, starting here, is two slim 120s here on the side that blow in directly onto the CPU. And um, as mentioned, also all of the fans on the Landboy Air are directing air into the case, which creates positive pressure. Now these are still spinning, but can give you a look here at our wiring job. Our two fan controllers are right up here on the front, and we wired those going down to the three on the side here, the three on the opposite side of the hard drive cage, and the two at the top. I don't know if you guys, if you can see up under here, but this is where we've added another two 120 millimeter fans. These are again the slim versions, and those are just barely fit in there right above the CPU and the CPU cooler by Antec. Speaking of the CPU cooler, uh, this CPU cooler is definitely very big. We had to work around it, but this CPU cooler has been doing an amazing job so far. The temperatures we've been getting are really, really low. And granted, we are in a pretty cold room in here with the air conditioning on, but even under load, it has not been getting up very high. So here you can see the other side of the, the case opening up. There's quite a bit of air blowing out from those 120s. Uh, there's our fan cables running up to our fan controllers on the front. There's our optical drive and our hard drive. Hard drive again is on the little bouncy cables, the air mount system that comes with the Landboy Air. And uh, yeah, that pretty much does it as far as the custom work that we've done. You can see through there on the other side, you have your other 120 millimeter fans. We managed to get everything in there, wired up and working. And uh, I'm happy to say that we did so without the loss of blood or hurt fingers, which means that's probably what I'm going to do right now when I'm putting this back together. But enough of that, let's move on to the temperature results we got from our benchmarks. All right, so first let's take a look at our Linux test. This is a CPU burn-in test, uh, which really puts a maximum load on all six cores of our six core AMD processor. And we saw the CPU temperature get up to 46 degrees Celsius maximum with the stock fans installed and 42 degrees Celsius with all 15 fan installed. So definitely an improvement there when we move from just the stock fans to loading down as many fans as possible. GPU temperature was just two degrees higher with the stock fans. So we did also see an improvement with GPU, but again, this is Linux, which is a CPU uh, benchmark test. So it's really not gonna put much load on the GPU. Next in line is our Furmark GPU test. And this really just puts a maximum load on the GPU. Uh, so here you can see, as compared to the Linux test, our GPU temperatures got a lot higher. So we saw 76 degrees Celsius on our GPU with the stock fans and 75 degrees Celsius uh, on our GPU with 15 fans. And really that's just a minor difference. So we're not really getting a whole lot of improvement with maximum fans on the Landboy Air when we're running our Furmark test. Uh, by comparison, for our, our CPU temperature with that test, it definitely got a good, it stayed a good degree, a good amount warmer with stock fans, 32C as compared to 28 with all 15 installed. So uh, we are seeing a definite improvement with airflow around the CPU. And um, since the CPU is located right above the GPU, chances are you're just getting uh, a lot more uh, temperature from the GPU transferred up to the processor when you're running Furmark and uh, you're just not seeing as much of that heat transference going on when you have the system loaded down with fans. Finally, 3D Mark Manage, which is a bit more of a real, real world test, uh, runs a series of GPU tests and it also does some CPU tests. So during the 3D Mark Manage test, then we're running this in performance mode. With stock fans, we saw a maximum temperature of 36C on the CPU and 35C on the CPU with 15 fans. So, uh, we saw a, our temperature on the CPU drop by one degree 
uh, using 15 fans, which is not significant. Uh, pretty similar for the GPU. Actually, the temperature went up by one degree when we had it loaded down with 15 fans. What this is telling me is that really all this airflow in here is not doing a whole lot when we're actually just running more real, real world applications such as playing a game or the other type of uh, CPU, GPU activity that would be simulated by something like 3 d Mark Manage. So, end result here, if you're looking at a Landboy Air and if you're really considering should I really put as many fans as possible in this, um, probably not really worth it if you are just doing your typical day-to-day -day CPU or, or computing activities, if you're just playing games. However, if you're doing other really uh, processor intensive applications such as video render rendering or if you do AutoCAD, if you do anything that requires a lot of compiling, that requires the CPU to get under load a lot, you actually are going to have some improvement by loading as many fans as you see here into the Landboy Air. Also, I'd like to mention that the, uh, pro that the hard drives that are loaded up here would be very, very effective to have this much airflow going, if, especially if you're doing video editing uh, that we do quite a bit of here, and um, hard drives tend to heat up a lot. So if you're doing that, uh, definitely another good reason to have as many fans as possible. So that pretty much does it for our little benchmark testing of the Landboy Air with stock fans and with as many fans as you can possibly wedge in there and still have them all spin. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, everyone. Remember to subscribe if you, uh, if you like our videos. And of course, if you'd like any more additional information on the hardware that we've used in here, you can check the video description and we have links to all of it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on Newegg TV.